If you have only a few days, do you know where are the places you must visit on Samui Island? Welcome to the Big Buddha Temple on Gaot Samui. This temple for local people, we call it Wat Prat Yai. Literally means uh, the giant Buddha in front of me here. It's a golden Buddha which is 12 meter high. The temple is located on a little island called Gaot Phan, which is a small island connected to the main island of Samui. And it is not very far from the international airport, just about three kilometers. So a lot of times you'll see airplanes flying just over the temple. The temple is free of charge for both locals and international travelers. So you can just come here any day. But you have to climb about 75 steps to reach the Big Buddha. Praku Santi Nontakun later developed and decorated this area in 1970 by providing the monasteries and Thamma practice places on the island. There are some tips about entering religious places in Thailand, such as this temple. Please wear appropriately. Don't wear clothes like these or something that's too revealing. But if you come here and then you wear shorts or sleeveless t-shirt, there are some clothes like scarf, ropes and towels for rent free of charge for you so you just cover yourself with this you shouldn't miss coming here lot of viewpoint there's so many viewpoints on Samui Island but this is a large one and it's open for public every day there's also a parking space for both locals and tourists from here you can see like the vast area of the sea, the beautiful sea water of the Gulf of Thailand, and there is Chowang Beach which is nearby. The highlight of this place is this walking promenade. You can take your friends and families here and enjoy walking around the area. Let's go downhill. It's so chilling around here. It's highly recommended for you to come. Sometimes there's a saying that says, we don't need anything else if we're by the sea. And I think now I don't need anything. Just enjoy the moment. Welcome to Hin Ta Hin Yai. Hin Pa Hin Yai is definitely a must-see here in Samui. It is like a natural wonder discovered by locals many years ago. This location is situated between Lam Mai and Hua Tanun, which is quite quiet compared to a popular place like Che Wing. Hin Pa literally means Grandpa's Rock. Hin Yai is Grandma's Rock. But do you wonder where the names are from? Let's see it together. Let's go take a walk around. There are not many people today. It's weekday. So it's recommended to come during weekdays. Now one of the must-see places in Muga Ang Tong or Ang Tong Marine National Park is this big lagoon or emerald lagoon in Thai we call Talenai or Mega Island. Here, this is the map that we're going to explore today. We're going to walk from here, the entrance to the viewpoint. Yes, and then the lagoon is here and then we're going back this way. So it only takes about 20-30 minutes. Okay, let's go. 
You have to be careful because the stairs are quite steep. Here you can witness the nature as well. There are some wild animals, wild birds such as the white-belled sea eagle, oriental pied hornbill, or white runt shama, and there are also wild uh, plants like Ang Tong Lady Slipper and many others. Wow! It's quite calm in here. This is the inner part of Mac Gong. But the view is magnificent. You can see like the color of the seawater is emerald. So it's like the emerald big, big lagoon. But swimming or jumping into the seawater is not allowed. Wotalab Island is where Antan National Park Office is located. The beautiful views the travelers should not miss. The route up to Pajanjara viewpoint, the most beautiful viewpoint of Suratani Sea, is quite challenging as the walk includes a 500 meter climb up a limestone cliff. When you climb up the mountain, please use the rope provided because the route up is very steep and dangerous. At the peak, you can see the view from the wooden porch. Many of the islands on the north of Watalap Island can be seen from here. And finally, I've made it to the top of Got Watalap. And the view here, you can see, it's breathtaking. It's really worth climbing here. Welcome to Tuwing Beach. This is the most famous beach on Samui Island. It's located not very far from the airport. And the reason it became famous is because of the white sandy beach you can see along this shoreline of about a few kilometers. There are plenty of accommodations, a lot of hotels and restaurants, of uh, a large variety from three to five star hotels, from chain hotels to boutique hotels. And there are also sophisticated cocktail bars uh, that you can come and enjoy the scenery in the evening and sip some drinks. Um, also, there is a good zoning area that you can come play jet ski or other kind of water sports. After checking in, if you come here early, there's a great way to spend your time because there is a long shopping street or shopping arcade with a lot of uh, shops, restaurants, cafes to like, enjoy your time before departing. If you feel tired, you can come here for a massage as well before your flight departure. Actually, you can just come here to the shopping arcade before or after you check in, it's alright. Or even if you don't have a flight, you can just invite your friends and families to come here in the airport, in the shopping area, to enjoy food, like ice cream, coffee, there's a nice coffee, like cafe here too. And uh, don't forget that you have these big screens along the street that you can check your departure time. So don't worry that you'll miss your flight. All right, now I think it's time for a cup of coffee. Let's go. Oh, wow, the price of the drink is the same as shops in Bangkok. Not as expensive as some other airports. Wow, this is not an aquarium, it's the restroom. 
Wow. <laughs> Let's do more stories about Samui. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe.